What does a daddy long legs have to do with the squash? What do you think, Ava? If a tiny daddy long legs got under this big old thing, it would get squashed. Check out this daddy long legs. What a weird spider. It looks like rice on stilts. Daddy long legs aren't actually spiders, although people call them spiders a lot. They're not spiders, but they have eight legs like one. True, but they don't spin webs and they don't have fangs. They're related, but not the same. Just like with a daddy long legs, it can be hard to know what to call things. Except this tomato. It's obviously a fruit. Obviously? Obviously it's a vegetable. Fruit. Vegetable. Fruit. Vegetable. Fruit? Vegetable? What's, What's the, the difference? difference? A fruit is what a plant makes to hold its seeds. All fruit starts as flowers. Some fruit have one seed. Some fruit have lots of seeds. But no matter what, a fruit has seeds. A vegetable is any other part of a plant that you can eat. Roots like beets, stems like asparagus, leaves like lettuce, and if you eat it before it turns into a fruit, flowers like broccoli. Yeah, broccoli are flowers. I got something for you. For me? Aw, oh, you shouldn't have. <sighs> it's time to play Frutchtable, the game where you guess if something is a fruit or a vegetable. Are you ready, Ava? Yes. Remember, fruits have seeds in them and vegetables don't. We've got a squash, a tomato, a potato, and an apple. First, the tomato. Is it a fruit or a vegetable? That's easy. It has a ton of seeds. It's a fruit. Next, we've got the potato. <laughs> vegetable, no doubt. No seeds. It's a vegetable. What about the apple? That's easy. It has seeds. Yeah, so according to science, apples and the tomato are a fruit. Of course, even though people sometimes call the squash a vegetable, it's actually a fruit. <laughs> yeah, potato, that's the answer to the riddle. Both squash and daddy long legs are things people often call one thing when they should be called something else. Oh. These squash are very special fruits because the seeds used to grow them are thousands of years old and have been given to the farm by Elder Shelley Charles of the Chippewa First Nation. These squash have been grown for over 5,000 years by the Miami First Nations who live in an area that is now called Indiana. These squash can grow up to 30 pounds, and we are growing them here at Clearwater Farm. Challenge time! We challenge you to challenge your family to a game of vegetable. Check out the food in your fridge and figure out if it's a fruit or a vegetable. And then try and stump your parents and family. You can also try planting some of the seeds and growing them. For lots of other fun and games and riddles, visit, visit clearwaterkids.org. Challenge yourself to connect to nature and build a healthier world for yourself, for the earth, and for a potato.